Hi, my name is uh, Vito Noharalu. Everybody know me as Gugu. I'm the secretary of Exotic Echo, the Azepe Village. It's been about seven, eight years that I've been associated with the society. And this year on the ninth Naga Loinum Festival, uh, we wanted to showcase the local producers of the state. And a spe special focus has been uh, made on the nettle fiber and uh, organic cotton, which are grown in peg and nokluk. So this year we have have combined the producers from Choklongan and Patso that specializes on nettle and um, cotton and from Peg district we have Yoruba and Leshimi and most of these weavers are first timers who have come out from their villages and are showcasing and even having a, a weavers uh, community engagement and I think that has what uh, excited us about because our intention is to um, connect, engage and dialogue among these weavers to be able to talk about their challenges but also celebrate what they can share together as a community. And uh, as you can see that the stalls that each one of them have where they have shown their producers, it also gives an opportunity for interaction so that they can talk about how they made it, how do they do it and also have that first-hand experience of people-to-people in-person conversation. And I think um, this is how we capacitate people and exhibitions like this enables the authentic um, real producers to come and see each other's work and also learn to appreciate because uh, the intention as I said the festival is about uh, intentional appreciation because unless we are part of the process the outcome definitely would not be up to the mark. Uh, market is huge but we need to take care of the makers. And I think this is what Exotic Echo has been wanting to showcase in our annual, um, you know, this is the ninth, and on the 10th, we may have a very different, wider uh, vision to include uh, of uh, more handmade products uh, and bring in producers only. So uh, we wanted to, um, shift actually we actually shifted from international loin loom which we had been using for quite some time and shifted to naga loin loom because we wanted to make sure our own local communities get to know each other first so that we can welcome the outside community the global community uh, to understand what we want to uh, let them know uh, but before that we need to know ourselves first so uh, we have gone more on a homegrown and uh, we're hoping that this is going to grow more because globally there's a huge demand for natural fiber but there is also a need to address uh, the exploitation and the exploration that is happening unethically in many uh, cases and this is where we educate and advocate for uh, the community to know their rights how to protect it and how to promote it ethically and rightly and how to own reclaim claim and be able to fight for what this they should be the one to say that this is what we will tell you this is what we don't want to say you know, and uh, they should not be exploited in the name of profit making because that seems to be um, uh, how, uh, you know, communities are lured and uh, the craft value goes down. So I hope that appreciation of the art, uh, engagement, community building and strengthening the uh, weavers community is what we're looking for, especially for the local producers to keep the authenticity of the art. <laughs> My name is Elizabeth Ntoy. Uh, I came from Dimapur and then I'm a florist by profession. Uh, I started this business uh, last year. Yeah, last year I started this and then yeah, it's going full full swing. It's going a full swing. So. It's located in Dimapur, it's home base as of now, but I'm planning by next year, maybe uh, even planning and all, I'm planning for that and also to open up a about shop. Loin Loom Festival, I came to know through Mem Gugu. So how I made Mem Gugu was through Instagram. 
So we met at Wen Bazaar. I opened a store there. So Wen Bazaar was an entrepreneurial woman entrepreneurial platform. So I met there and then we connected. So far, like it's been a great experience. So I'm loving the environment and also the people are so friendly here and everything is awesome. The all the stalls here are like uh, the weaver stalls, so like they do it by themselves. They weave and then everything is local. Yeah. So I would also encourage and then I will also like to appeal to the people to support our local people, local weavers. Kobanala chairman, I say, Kuguri dance nimit all of briefing Kuridibo. It do Kugurido, Amikan Laga, Warde, the Atem, the Amikan Bonduk available Takanai, to Bonduk available Natakilibi, Amikan Kuguri Bara Olibi, Amikan Wardo, Jitiluise, War Zitikini Apichite, Amikan Kusi Nimi Kusipra, it to ecta meaning. मतलब इतुके आमिखान नहाराबो खुकुरी लगाबि नाम एकटा आमिखान लगते आसे कय किने डान्स खुसी परा खुकुरी डान्स तो आमिखान खुकुरी डान्स कय किने बनाइस this is a single hand initiative of exotic echo uh, which was started in 2014 and it was somewhere in 2019 that the Nagaland tourism uh, took knowledge of our initiative and they decided to support us uh, and that's how the relationship has continued and we're so grateful to Nagaland tourism uh, government of Nagaland for giving us the freedom to do what we know best and uh, has been a silent partner all along and they have been uh, you know a real supporter uh, throughout the last four years and uh, I think that's how uh, with that collaboration it has helped us to uh, make our vision a little bigger and welcome others also into the fault uh, and we're hoping that 25 years next year with the Hornbill which actually the uh, Loinlum Festival and the Hornbill uh, Festival uh, coincides together because uh, we felt that this could be a strengthening point to what Hornbill Festival vision and mission is. So we wanted to complement, so we uh, thought of those dates in that one week long where we uh, started with five days and now we have streamlined to three days because it involves a lot of logistics uh, alone but with uh, the tourism department where they step in to uh, help the weavers especially because it's the weavers who participate from different districts and uh, that's how we've been able to partner and uh, strengthen the festival and I guess everyone is happy on both ends and I think this is very much needed where complementing each other's vision and being a support system is what the state and the people requires and it is meaningful intentional and there's a long-term vision together 
So um, we're just so grateful to all the supporters, especially this year. We have had the Business Association of Nagas ban. Then we have the SBI general uh, manager who came and saw our work. And I think these festivals enables people to see the work of the producers. And there's not much to say. And when the right people come, they know what to do. So um, we have textile enthusiasts who come, they come and uh, offer their help. Uh, they even ask us, what are the areas that we can offer? And I think these kind of dialogues and communication and conversations strengthens the ecosystem for which Exotic Echo has been facilitating all these years. And we hope to do that. Uh, we have invitations from districts also to come and train because we are training people for making cushions, runners, and diversifying uh, products uh, so that the traditional arts doesn't die, but there are more variety for different customers and different uh, market. So we hope to explore this together. <laughs>